All right guys, so I'm actually a brand new fan to Strike Witches. I started just like two weeks ago with season one, uh, watched the first, second episode, thought it was all right. And then I ended up binging all the way to the end. Loved it. Watched season two, absolutely phenomenal experience. Probably one of the best anime experiences I've ever had, actually, especially with the finale. I'm gonna have to talk about that later. And then I watched the OVA, which was just, Victory Arrow is, it, it's a masterpiece, okay? And then uh, I watched the movie, which I thought was great. It also had this scene with a brand new character called Shizuka. And uh, she basically looks at Mia Fuji, who's the main character of the series. And she goes, oh man, I wonder what it would be like to fly like her someday. Do you think I can, Major Sakamoto? <laughs> she basically just laughs at her. So like, I'm really hoping since since Shizuka shows up in the opening sequence of Road to Berlin, which is season three of Strike Witches, I'm hoping that Shizuka gets her chance to, to be great. Cause like at the end of the movie, she's basically just like roasted by Mio with this horrible laughter. <laughs> Let's let's cross our fingers for Shizuka. So how are you gonna start Strike Witches without an incredible opening action sequence? Just absolutely incredible. It does not disappoint in the slightest, okay? Especially Ayla with these crazy moves dodging the beams right here. Like literally, you could freeze frame it and put her on a magazine cover, okay? She'd just be looking so fly, dude, in the air. And then you have uh, all of these incredible incredible animation i cannot stop with the animation the cgi is better than i could have expected you can barely even tell that it's there um y you have this water animation the flying animation the fan service did i say fan service there's a lot of fan service in this show by the way i just i just need you to know that yeah so it, it, it just just an incredible show then you get to this sequence when we see mia fuji for the first time you'd think that you know she wouldn't be as clumsy as she is but she's coming down this ladder with both of her hands on books and, and, and i don't i don't really get why because this looks very unstable i mean when she ends up falling i'm just like Bruh. okay and then we see mio's hair down just Mio's gorgeous, okay? Mio is the most gorgeous, precious person ever, all right? So let me just get the story out of the way, all right? So basically, Altia is calling her father, who's like on this ship, and it ends up being this interference, there's a problem. Turns out the problem is a moving iceberg. Now, w why is an iceberg moving on the sea? I mean, this is Strike Witches and it's very silly, but I was not expecting to be so delighted by the silliness of this episode. I mean, goodness gracious, a moving iceberg towards a huge ship that's like attacking the ship? And then Mia Fuji is like, hey, I, I gotta go save him. So she is trying to find the striker unit with Mio and Hijikata. You probably have no chance with Mio. I'm, uh, I'm really sorry about that, dude. Oh, oh, oh. But anyways, they meet this mechanic who's like, hey guys, I have just the thing for you. A striker unit? Yeah, a striker unit. I got you. And he's like, man, I can't believe I get the help of the 501st, right? He's just so excited. And then he presents them with this piece of junk covered in cobwebs, my dude. Cobwebs, why? And Mio's like, does this thing even work? And he's like, well, probably. Probably. You're a mechanic. You should know if it works or not. This is the worst mechanic ever. His only saving grace is the fact that it's anime magic. I mean, it goes from a cobweb festered piece of junk to working perfectly fine when Mia Fuji jumps in it. So, I mean, thanks, Strike Witches, but I'm not thankful to you, Mr. Mayor, sir. You're the worst mechanic ever. Now, last thing I want to say is just the animation at the end is phenomenal. The perspective. Mia Fuji looks so small compared to this huge iceberg that is just looming over the ship, that is just looming over Mia Fuji herself, and she's really struggling here. I mean, we've seen Mia Fuji struggle before, but I don't know if it's been like this, and I don't know if it's been with this solid quality animation. The sound design too. I mean, listen to these sound effects. So 
excited for the upcoming season. I am so excited to see the exciting conclusion to this particular battle. Leaves us on a cliffhanger. Terrible, but but anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here around the channel, feel free to uh, subscribe so you can get more content on Strike Witches. I also cover Rent a Girlfriend and Komi Can't Communicate the Manga. I will be reacting to that series very, very soon too. So definitely uh, keep your ears wide open for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great week, great day, great night, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.